Hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little oodle lallies. Rebecca Parham here. This is a quick video I'm making, and it's half-baked animated because the stats say you guys would rather watch a series of sequential drawings set to audio than watch my ugly mug on the screen. And I can't say I blame ya. Not a lot going for me in this region. I got something fun for you guys. Long story, very, very short. A few days ago, it was my sister's birthday, and I found this. And essentially what this is, is a puzzle pod. And what you do is you put something cool in this part right here, and then you set a five-letter word as the code to get into it. And I decided to try my hand at codes and ciphers and secret messages, so I wrote my sister a birthday poem, and within the poem is a secret code that helps you figure out what five-letter word unlocks the puzzle pod. I gave it all to her, she really, really liked it, but it was kind of clear I went a little overboard on the... Complexity of it, I am an amateur at writing hidden messages, don't grill me for that, please. She would have eventually figured it out, I'm sure, but I got impatient, so I gave her enough hints that night so she could open it on her birthday. But I thought, hey, my explainers and entertainers, they're a bunch of smarty, smart, smart pants, and I bet they would just love this. So here I am, I'm gonna read this poem to you, and you guys are gonna listen to it, and you're gonna laugh at my poetry skills. And I just wanted to see if you guys could figure out what five-letter word I chose for my sister's birthday gift. I'm gonna read you the whole poem in a bit, but I'm only gonna put the last two verses in the description below because... Eh, those are the only two verses that actually help you figure out the five-letter word. The rest of the poem is just kind of a bunch of fluff. Oh, by the way, the poem is Gravity Falls themed because my sister and I are huge fans of that show. I wrote it as if Bill Cipher, the main villain, is talking to my sister about her gift. It's pretty cool. At least I think so. Anyways, here's the poem. Hello, Rachel dear, no need to shake hands. You know my name well, and for you I have plans. On this day of days, you came to this dimension. So for you, birthday girl, I've got diverting intentions. Your gift remains locked in a prison most strange. To decipher the code, symbols must be arranged. Just five little letters, just one little word. Though I will not speak it, it's one that you've heard. Rack your brain over in your sister's brain too. But what word she might conjure that's familiar to you? Is it horse? Is it David? Might it even be Abby? Or maybe with codes and ciphers you're savvy. You may think your sweet Mabel is the answer you seek, but alack she is not, though her name is a key. Recall this phrase of odd design, this clue our game will sweeten. Old illusions drift away when hollow fears are beaten. And there you have it. Oh, by the way, you don't need to know anything about my family or my sister in order to break the code. Everything you need is right there in those last two verses. First person to get it, I will pin your comment on the top of the comment section and you will have full bragging rights. And hey, if you guys like this, maybe we'll make it a thing, I don't know. And one more thing before I go, I was on another Annoying Orange episode, and this time I got to be a parody of Adele. It ain't every day you get to impersonate a queen bee like her. It's a parody of Hello, so go on over and give it a look-see. That's all I have time for, explainers and entertainers. There's more animated stuff on the way, and it's a little more well put together than this. This has been Rebecca Parham. Thank you so much for tuning in, but now I've got to tune out. Bye! Oh, by the way, the reason Mabel is mentioned is for two reasons. One, we have a basset hound named Mabel, and two, she's named Mabel because Mabel is my sister's favorite character from Gravity Falls. Just in case you were going to ask about that.